everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about biophysical profiles. So what is a biophysical profile? It is a test that we do to check fetal well-being in a pregnant woman. It is usually done after 32 weeks of pregnancy, but can be done sooner, usually after 24 weeks of pregnancy. So what are we doing? We're checking to see fetal well-being. We're checking to see is this baby healthy? And if this baby is not healthy, then we might have to deliver this baby. So there is a chart with this one. It is a little less complicated because there's only two columns. It's either your normal or your abnormal. If you're normal, you get a score of two. And if you're abnormal, you get a zero. So our first category is breathing movements. So normal or a two will be they have at least one breathing type movement lasting 60 seconds in a 30 minute period. And if they can do that, they get a two. If they can't do that, they have no breathing movements in a 30 minute period, they get a zero for that category. Our second category is body movement. So they need to have three body movements in 30 minutes to get a two. And if they don't, if they have two or less, in that 30 minute time, they get a zero. Then our muscle tone, they need to have at least one extension inflection in 30 minutes. So what that means is baby's got its normal flexed posture, right? So they need to have at least one where they're kind of stretching a little bit, maybe stretching their arms or stretching their legs out, something like that, and then coming back. At least one in that 30 minute time frame. If they're unable to do that, or they're doing it very, very slowly, then they'll get a zero. Our next category is heart rate reactivity. So if you haven't looked at fetal monitoring strips yet, or if you're just learning how to do that, reactive is a good word. We like reactive, we like reassuring. Those are good words when we talk about fetal heart rate. So we need to have two or more what we call 15 by 15s. These are accelerations. So the heart rate goes 15 above the baseline and that lasts for 15 seconds or longer. That's an acceleration. That's a good thing, we like those. That means baby is moving around, baby is healthy, baby is happy. So you need to have two or more 15 by 15s in a 20 minute time period. The more the better, right? And then of course zero would be less than two. And then our final category here is amniotic fluid volume. So they need to have at least one centimeter of amniotic fluid in two planes or two pockets. Sometimes it's they're in pockets um, to get a two to be considered normal. And then to be abnormal, they have no fluid at all or they have less than one centimeter of fluid. And then if we add all these up, obviously, um, there's five categories and normal is two each. So the best score you can get on a biophysical profile is a 10. Um, not every baby gets a 10, uh, even though it's normal and healthy, that's fine. Um, anything from eight to 10 is considered normal and good and we're happy about it. Uh, four to six, there might be a potential issue going on with this baby. And then anything less than four, um, we are in need of delivering this baby. There's something going on with this baby and it needs our help. And of course, we only do this after they've surpassed the age of viability when delivery is even possible. We're not gonna be doing this in like the first trimester on these babies. That's not when we do a biophysical profile. And the other thing is, we don't do these routinely on every single mom, every single pregnancy. This is only if we're checking for something, if we're concerned. Okay, so don't think that, oh, everybody gets a biophysical profile. They don't. So that's my video on biophysical profile. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know, and I'll see you on the next one.